What is up everybody, Hoosier Pulse here today. Thank you so much for joining me on the channel. As you can see, I am wearing my Drew McIntyre t-shirt. So we have a WWE product that we are going to be reviewing today. I am so excited because it is the retail release of WWE Chronicles. I opened a hobby box of this and it was absolutely fantastic. I'll put the video link in the description so you can go ahead and watch that. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, everybody, here we go. 2022 Panini Chronicles WWE. This was $24.99 at Target. I ordered this online. Here are all of the inserts. So there are numbered cards as well as autographs, which is fantastic. So without further ado, let's get right into this. Thank you so much for joining me. I truly, truly appreciate it. I open a lot of uh, different types of cards, WWE, um, baseball, football. So... If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Here we go. So like I said in my intro, I opened a hobby box of WWE Chronicles and it was absolutely fantastic. Um, I love this product. It is so much fun. There's so much variety. All right, so here we go. So this is the base um, design of Chronicles. We have Umberto, Tony D'Angelo, rookie from NXT. Mustafa Ali. We have Tokira Azawa, which is this is like the little bronze parallel. We have Andre Chase in the black, which is a nice looking card. We have Raquel Rodriguez in playoff, which is probably my one of my least favorite designs. And then we have a Carmella from Luminance, which the Luminance cards look really, really cool. It's like very focused on the photography. So I'm really hoping to hit like a Braun Breaker rated rookie. That would be really cool. We have Tamina, Bam Bam Bigelow. That's a throwback right there. Ravishing Rick Rude. We have Cruz Del Toro from XR. Here is Alundra Blaze, score. Elton Prince, rookies and stars. And we have Dante Chen in prestige. So as you can already see, there's so much variety and that is like what so many people really enjoy about Chronicles. I think Panini has done a really fantastic job with uh, the release of WWE products. We have Hitman, here is Becky Lynch, which that does not really look like Becky Lynch at all. Kind of an odd shot right there. We have Cedric Alexander. Here is our first Chrome card. It is Roman Reigns from Phoenix, the Tribal Chief. I really hope to see, uh, you know, Cody versus Roman at Mania. I think a lot of wrestling fans are. We have Ciampa in XR, one of my favorite wrestlers. We have Nikki A.S.H. and the Hot Rod Rowdy Roddy Piper in Luminance. Let me know what you guys think of this set. Let me know if you'll be uh, planning on pick picking any of this up. I really hope that this. Uh, Kind of helps you make an informed decision. We have Mean Gene Okerlund in Flux. So that is our second Chrome card. Remember, we're promised seven. We have Riddle, whose current future is kind of up in the air. Here is China. Here's a nice Origins, Dave Batista. That's a cool card right there. The Origins look really good. And then we have The Rock from Absolute. So I'm really hoping that we can at least hit one number card. You know, that would be pretty cool. Um, you know, Panini doesn't put their odds, so it's always kind of difficult to tell. We have Carrion Cross, Roxanne Perez, Base Chronicles. Here's Solo Sokoa. So there is a nice uh, bronze rated rookie right there of the newest member of the Bloodline. We have The Miz from Certified, Stone Cold Steve Austin, arguably the greatest of all time. One of my personal favorites, Eddie Guerrero Origins. That is a great looking PC card. And we have Roman Reigns in Absolute. All right, last pack. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I really, really do truly love making videos. Uh, I love wrestling. So this has just been so much fun for me. We have The Game, Triple H, Ilya Dragunov. Here is Veer Mahan, Ronda Rousey, Absolute. Here's a nice Sheamus from Donruss Elite. 
We have a Cora Jade rated rookie, which is one of the top rookies that you want to get. And we have a season ticket Brock Lesnar. Okay, so let's recap really quick. All right, everyone, so here's our stack of base. Um, it is a fun set, you know, to try to put together if you're trying to get a binder full of it. Um, when I was reading the box, uh, it said seven chrome or hollow cards. So here's our seven total uh, chrome and hollows. We got two actual chromes, uh, and then the rest were like, you know, the base paper refractors. And then our two rated rookies did pretty solid. We got Solo Sokoa in the little bronze, as you can see. The bronze parallel and then Cora Jade is the base. So definitely not too bad. I think it's a fun rip for like 25 bucks. Nothing too crazy. Um, if you really want to get a good amount of numbered cards or autos, definitely go with a hobby box. They're not too expensive, but I had a great time. This was super fun. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoy my content, please consider liking and subscribing. I truly appreciate it. Until then, we're going to keep growing, keep making videos. Until next time, we'll see you later.